Well, hello, fellow yearbookers, and welcome back to the uh, weekly podcast with Jamie Silver and Herf Jones. It is 4.30 on Monday, and I'd like to welcome you back to the elementary podcast. And to kick things off, um, I have a, a guest with us today. Uh, his name is Jeremy Piper. He's in our Kansas City Order Center. And Jeremy's world is all about setting up the online orders for you and I to make sure we help with you uh, help you with your online sales. So I'm going to turn it over to Jeremy and bring him in and um, hear what he has to say. Jeremy, how are you doing today? Doing all right. How are you today? Excellent. Thanks again for joining us today. Appreciate it. Oh, no problem. So again, I want to introduce you to those uh, PTO folks and teachers who are working on the yearbooks at the elementary school, mostly some middle schools, and uh, introduce them to what you do. So if you could just share with us um, how long you've been with Herf Jones and what you do at Herf Jones in the Order Center. All right. I've been with Herf Jones for a little over 12 years now. And I've worked in both the manufacturing side and now the business side of the yearbooks. Uh, currently, I'm in the Yearbook Order Center as an account coordinator. And I assist Jamie and other sales reps and the schools facilitate their YOC sales, prepare postcard mailings, and setting up the email blast. So if you have any questions about the Order Center, you can go ahead and get in contact with me or Jamie. Excellent. And I have your email address and phone number, so they'll have that. Um, if you could share with the group uh, what's new with the, the parent email campaign we're doing this year. The parent email campaign is a series of emails that will go out either once or twice a month, depending on the month, and it just alerts parents who haven't purchased a yearbook yet that they are on sale and to go ahead and preserve those memories for their students. Awesome. We're hoping that will help support sales. Um, if you could share any uh, last-minute uh, party advice to help... Uh, help our schools have a successful year with your book sales. Definitely take advantage of the programs offered through the Order Center. Uh, we did launch the email initiative this year, and so far we've sent out two email campaigns, and the response to them have been really tremendous, and we're seeing an increase in sales. Awesome. Well, thanks again for your time, Jeremy. I appreciate it. No problem. You have a great day. You too. Thanks. Mm. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, again, that was uh, Jeremy, and uh, he's he's a great resource. Please feel free to contact him or myself directly with any questions regarding your sales of the yearbooks. Um, and as I share this screen here, I just wanted to mention um, a couple a couple tools that we're going to use in that area. So the first being the school master list. Um, and I can help you prepare this. Uh, I have a, a PDF of instructions that help you get this information from uh, the office and programs like uh, Skyward, Infinite Campus, PowerSchool, um, that holds the data. Um, and if we can get that into the system, it will do two things for us. One, it will help you with everything we just talked about with Jeremy on sales, right? It will make it easier for parents to go online because they'll actually be able to type in their child's name, find them in a list, and purchase a book in their name. Um, by the way, that also helps you when it comes to yearbook distribution because it's the correct name, or I should say the proper name, that they filled out during registration as opposed to a nickname or another spelling, and, and I'm sure you're, you've experienced uh, typos as well. So um, it'll help clear that up. Secondary, it'll also help you in eDesign, Why Online. So this will give you the ability uh, to have access to names for spell check and whatnot while you're building the pages. So that's the school master list. If you have any questions about that, please let me know. Happy to help with that. Another tool I wanted to highlight, especially in Jeremy's world in the Order Center, is eBusiness. Think of this as your online receipt book, also your point of purchase. So whether you're uh, working with the PTO or you're at the school, a teacher, or someone in the office and you want to record all the sales, eBusiness is a great uh, tool that we provide. Also, it's all-inclusive, meaning all the sales that are recorded are here. So if a parent goes online and, and purchases a book on the website, uses their credit card you know, late at night, it will be recorded in eBusiness. If they call our toll-free number and they talk with one of our bilingual operators to place the order over the phone, it will also be recorded here. And then as I mentioned earlier, as a point of purchase, it's available to you to actually record any sales that you manage at school or at an event or whatnot. So that way, come distribution time, all the sales are in one place. You can pull a simple report, and it'll show you who bought a book, confirmed that they paid for it, and so on, to help you actually hand the books out. So it's a great tool. Any questions on eBusiness or the Order Center, please let me know. Happy to help. Next uh, topic I'd like to get to today on the podcast is the eDesign, the Y Online enhancements for this year. 
Um, there have been a, quite a few updates for this year. I'm going to share you a, share a PDF with you on the screen in a second, but I just want to highlight a couple that I think are pretty pretty valuable. Uh, first one is the default frame fill will now be gray. So when you draw picture boxes, it's just going to be gray. You can change it, but the default is gray. And that placeholder text, if you remember, I'm often asked if it's Latin or whatnot, it's gibberish. <laughs> yeah, we just call it placeholder text. And now you have the ability to turn that on and off um, as a default in the, in the book setup. So you have that option as well. Another thing we've added this year is a duplicate image check. So when you go to upload photos, if you've already uploaded a file by the same file name, it's going to warn you and say, hey, are you sure you want to upload this? It looks like you've already uploaded it. So it doesn't see, you know, faces because all you and I know as a parent if we take a bunch of photos there we might have 10 photos that are really close but they're not the same photo um, so the the duplicate check does not check the images because there could be several that you're picking from you know it's more of a subjective uh, selection but it will watch the file name so if it's JPEG 234 and you go to upload the same 234 again it's gonna ask you it's gonna let you but it's gonna ask you are you sure we think we have this already we're trying to avoid duplicate so that's new um, other last one I want to share with you in general is the create and share. This is a new tab in your browser that you're, I'm sorry, in eDesign that you'll see that's kind of a, a place for you to create, um, create, save, and print sales flyers to help you promote the book sales, right? So instead of having to use another program like Corral Draw or something like that to draw and create a flyer, we've built that into the program where you can create it here save it as a clean PDF without any marks on it on the outside and actually print it out or email it out or post it on your website. So create and share is another tool that's new. And I also want to share a demo today, real short and sweet, but I want to share a tool called eShare. If you're familiar with it and you're using it, great. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, for those of you who have not used it, I just want to show you briefly what it is. So eShare, think of this in, in the old days, we had a shoebox in the office, right? We would collect photos for the yearbook and we would throw them at the person doing the yearbook and say, here's some pictures. Um, this is a digital version of that, except no shoebox. So it's a web-based version. I pulled up a school here just to demonstrate, Kettle Marine High School. Um, it's a way for your community to share photos with you via the web page that I'm showing you here, or we also have free apps on both the iOS and the Android store. So if, in theory, you know, people can download this app, no cost to you or them. They can take a photo or take a photo they have on their phone that they maybe took with their uh, high-end camera. Uh, and actually send it to you as the yearbook advisor directly from their phone without having to go to a computer. So they have the option. And and the beauty of eShare, um, it's just one option for you to use. You can use others like Dropbox or Google Drive. The one unique thing about eShare is it's going to prompt them. It's actually going to require them by design to capture some information, first name, last name, email address, confirm that, phone number, and agree to let you use it in, in production, in, in the production of your book but this part's required. And then they click this button, takes them to select a photo and send it. Um, the beauty of that is rather than getting miscellaneous photos attached to emails and whatnot, uh, you're getting with some context of what's happening in the photo. Actually on the next screen, it actually asks you to type in a description of the picture too. So it, we're helping capture information for you for photos coming in. Once they click submit here, um, you would come to your login where you go to myhjyearbook.com and you click on this button here where it says eShare Admin. And I've logged in, again, just as this school, eShare, I'm sorry, uh, Kettle Money, just to show you an example. Basically, this is that, that virtual shoebox, if you will, in the office. This is the holding area. So this is where the photos are coming in. And as the administrator, the yearbook advisor, you have the ability to look at the preview, you know, check which ones you need, and notice it's all that information I mentioned earlier, name, contact info, uh, description of what's in the photo. It's all captured for you. And if you want to transfer that, you simply check the box and hit the transfer, or you can simply select all and transfer all of them. Once you hit transfer, they leave this temporary holding area. They get listed in here as the ones that have been transferred. Um, and then they jump into, I'm going to jump over to your, your library, where you're going to collect all your photos. They would appear here and all the information that is captured by the person who sent it will be under here under keywords. So it brings it right into your program for you to then go ahead and put on a page. So it's a great tool. I just wanted to provide a quick demonstration of that. If you have any questions about eShare, please do let me know. One thing I didn't have on the list to show you today, but I just wanted to highlight if there's anyone out there using Pinterest, 
Um, we have a ton of pins up here if you have any interest in looking for yearbook related pins. So it's just yearbookdiscoveries.com. You can search for that. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of activity here and a lot of cool stuff. So feel free to, to take a look at that. Um, in closing, uh, again, this podcast is new. My goal is to keep it short and sweet so you don't have to carve out a lot of time every Monday to, to watch it or watch it later on recording. Um, so we'll continue this every, uh, every Monday currently at 430 I'd love to hear your feedback on this format as well as topic suggestions throughout the school year. So if there's something you'd like to see or learn more about, uh, shoot me an email, drop me a call, uh, let me know what you'd like to see. And lastly, I just want to comment, um, last week uh, when we did this, I had a couple calls and emails uh, with trouble watching the recording of this podcast. And I realized that unfortunately, currently, it's not available to play on a mobile device. It's something I'm working on, and I appreciate your patience as I learn this new medium. Um, but currently, you do have to log into a browser to view it. Um, but that will come in the future. But again, loved your feedback. If you would like to see this available on like YouTube channel, podcast, you know, via the, the Apple program or a web page or, or wherever, wherever it would, it would best serve you. So if you could give me that feedback, that would be great. Again, happy Monday. Have a great week. Have a good evening. And I look forward to talking with you soon. Thank you.